it is no longer news that davido recently lost his first son in the most tragic circumstance of swimming pool drowning the news first broke on twitter but many people did not initially believe it to be true even someone who claims to be a close relative initially debunked the rumor nothing to my brother nothing to ivarin please so nothing to find it. however a few hours later instablog confirmed it to be true and here we are today with the reality now let us re-examine some of the circumstances surrounding the death of ivarin davido's three-year-old first son it was reported that davido and chioma were away in ibadan to attend the family function leaving ifani with his nanny and seven other domestic staff when this tragic incident happened it was speculated that he was left unattended by the nanny and all seven domestic staff in whose care he was meant to be at all times we assume that he had probably gone into the pool in an attempt to swim when the incident happened this i think was due to the fact that his father davido had at least on one occasion taken him inside the pool to swim as we can see in this video so to ifai who is just three he was just going to do just what he and his father had done many times it's all going quick i swear i know what you're thinking just before you blame davido for giving him some swimming lessons at all let us hang your point here and go back to the story the said swimming pool is located inside the compound and as we can see in this photo there appeared to be a gate with a lock on it and it is the normal safety procedure for residential buildings with swimming pool there appears to be two entrances to the swimming pool each having a padlock on it it is not clear how the little boy got into the pool but we can guess he may have accessed it through the back door the big question would be where did all eight staff go to answer this question let us examine the individual accounts of their stewardship or perhaps we may call it negligence as at the time of this video the police had arrested all eight domestic staff and released six holding the nanny and the chef in custody because they were found culpable or guilty of negligence and was asked to stay back and assist with the ongoing investigation the nanny who can be seen in this video accounted that she was with ifai when her phone rang she decided to step aside to receive the phone call leaving ifai with the chef so she assumed that the chef is looking after ifai the question you may want to ask at this point would be why would she have to step aside to take a phone call is she hiding anything from the chef let us continue our story when she returned to the area where she left them she noticed ifai was not there and the chef was not there either so she assumed ifai was with the chef so she probably continued with whatever she was doing or whatever the call or the caller may have demanded her to do your guess would be as good as mine if you would be guessing at this point she is supposed to intensify effort to look for him perhaps this would have been all that was needed to keep him alive if he had been discovered on time in that pool when she eventually saw the chef moments later without ifai that was when she realized that ifai was nowhere to be found so i would assume they at this point intensified effort to search for him but no one among them thought to search the swimming pool area except the security man who was ordinarily meant to be at the gate ifani's body was discovered lying at the rock bottom of the pool some 20 minutes later motionless i want you to picture how much struggle the little boy would have made to keep afloat how much of an effort he would have made to catch his breath in the deep water a quick examination of this case will reveal quite a number of issues ranging from sheer negligence to maybe a conspiracy. I will leave that for the police to unravel. Now, back to the story. It was said that he was immediately taken to the hospital where the doctor on duty confirmed him dead on arrival. Okay, 
this is really a sad moment for everyone, especially across the video and Choma's fan base. Of course, no one would cherish the death or fancy the death of a little one, a child, a beloved child. Now, let us look at some conspiracy theories this incident has generated so far. Ifa Funke Oketo Yimbo Eyaosun, an Ifa priestess and Olokun goddess, has revealed some reasons responsible for the death of Ifanyi. The Ifa priestess said the deceased might be a spiritual child who is against a loud celebration. In an online viral video, she said Davido and Choma should have carried out a spiritual inquiry before celebrating Ifanyi's third birthday. The Ifa priestess also said Ifai might have a connection to Davido's fame. In my personal opinion, I call this rubbish and wish for people to be mindful and respectful. Another self-acclaimed investigative journalist claims the death around Davido is a generational curse. A Mecca senator, the foster brother of Davido, claims there was a prophecy about Ifai's death that was taken for granted. A Nigerian prophet by name Christian Shola says something will happen if Ifanyi can be brought to his solution ground within 21 hours of his death. He did not exactly disclose what will happen, but we assume he is talking about raising him from the dead, as he claims Ifanyi is a destined child. I mean, who is not destined for something here on earth? In my opinion, he may just be cashing out on the attention this has brought to him and his so-called solution ground. I think if there is solution as he claims, he would have driven down to Davido's house, picked up the boy himself and then take him to the solution ground for whatever he thinks is going to happen, instead of issuing a public notice in this manner. As of today, the Instagram account created for Ifanye by Davido and Choma on his third birthday has been deactivated. This is not the first time a high-profile celebrity is losing a child in this manner. In 2018, Dibanj lost his son in a similar manner while he was away in the US. If you have gotten any information from this video, please do not forget to leave your comment in the comment section below. Do not also forget to click on the like button and also do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Let's see you in the next video. Thank you so much.